YouTube. Well, again, um, sorry it's been a month or so since I've posted. I have been <clears throat> not cutting wood. I've been selling it. Now, uh, I have a uh, another wood, a new wood to talk about today. Uh, persimmon wood. My neighbor had some stuff done at his house. Lost persimmon tree. Called me. I said, oh yeah. This is persimmon wood. It's kind of yellow. It's got the uh, really kind of a dark bark with the little knobs. These grow really straight, usually without any, any limbs in the woods. Uh, this is really great firewood, and it's not common for firewood just because uh, it only really grows in the woods. It's not a, it's not a, it doesn't grow very big, so you don't see a lot of it for sale for firewood, and people don't talk about burning it all that much, but it is a A-class firewood. Uh, back in the old days, they used to use persimmon wood to make the wooden heads for golf drivers, golf club heads, before they switched to metal. Um, it is the only North American uh, member of the ebony family. If we think of ebony wood, the uh, tropical black hardwood. Um, well, this is a member of that family and it is a very hard, dense wood. It also makes um, edible fruit. So you need to make sure they're really ripe before you eat them. Otherwise, a unripe or semi-ripe one will make your mouth pucker up big time. But uh, we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about the firewood. And to show you some splitting, it splits really nice. Like I said, it usually grows pretty straight and they don't grow very big. But this is a perfect firewood size because you can get, you know, five or six pieces out of each round. Uh, and I'm just going to split it with the work axe today, to tie your work axe. I'll show you how it goes. Uh, one thing about it is <clears throat> it is very sappy. It has a lot of, like that much of it would be co considered sap with almost half of this all the way around because it's got this juice coming out of it when it's fresh cut and it is like gummy like super sticky, uh, I had gloves on and it was slimy and my gloves were all slimy, but once it dries out and this is gonna have all winter and then all next summer, should season up really nice. You're really good, easy burning, nice coaling firewood. And it splits in those very nice firewood wedge shapes. Now I'm not hammering down through this to bust it apart really. I like that it's holding it up. Yeah, it is a little stringy on this one, but it's okay. It's, this one's been down since know, August. The end of October now. Oops. Yes. That's that black core there. It's rare that American persimmon wood actually has any ebonized looking wood in it. And when it does, it's usually because something happened to it, you know, a bug or it's almost kind of a purpley gray bark, unmistakable in the woods. <clears throat> piece 
here. The bottom of it where it's sitting there, a couple hours is just oozy, oozy goozy. Oops. A perfect piece of firewood. So yeah, this stuff splits up really nice like that. It's kind of like ash. I'd say it's probably a little harder than ash, but it works like ash as far as splitting goes. Firewood, which is what I talk about. So if you can get your hands on this stuff, I. Uh, I always take what I can, but it does take some seasoning. Um, like I said, it's got that goo in it. Let's get another one here. Look at it, see how wet it is all the way around? This is a four season tree too. Um, in the winter time, the, uh, the, the bark really silhouettes nice. You know, all the oaks and the oaks and beeches and maples are all gray. I think these are gray, green, or brown. Maybe. Elms are brown. And you got these just dark persimmons out in the woods. Touch the end. Those are all sticky. And then in spring, of course, they fill out nicely and they have flowers. Uh, it is a uh, one of those trees that there's girl trees and boy trees. The girl trees make the fruit, the boy, free, the boy trees. Do not. So if you've got two persimmon trees in your yard and one never has persimmons on it, the only one does, it's because one's a boy and one's a girl. Uh, but the boy trees blooms are very pretty and they do have a lot of show. They're very small like most trees buds are. And then in the fall, not only do you get nice red foliage typically, you get the persimmons on some of them and uh, the persimmons start out pale green then they go to a orangish color and then from there they go to uh, a purple and that's when you know they're really getting ready they start dropping. Dogs eat them, coyotes eat them, bears, raccoons, possums. All the mammals eat them, turkey. You can see the big, they got these big fat seeds. If you're ever running at the park, can you notice a big pile of coyote scat? It's got persimmon seeds in it. Well, it's because coyote know they're good too. This, is, this one's splitting like, a, like that last one. Just real crisp and very easy. That first piece I had was kind of stringy, and this one's got a, an inch knot about two thirds. Of it. I guess I skipped summer on the on the tree. Um, it's just got a really pretty dark leaf that goes well with the very unique dark uh, 
bark. So yeah, American persimmon, Eastern persimmon. It's a good one. I've kind of got a backlog. Uh, firewood here. I'm, I'm showing you this today. Here's the bitter nut from the last video. And I've got a little hickory here that I can show you too. But I'm going to get a little bit more of this persimmon going. <clears throat> This will make nice end cap pieces. These will stack so nice, they're so uniform. They're all with pie shapes. Now, I, this is a fruiting wood. I've never heard anybody cook with it. I don't think I would encourage that because it is in the ebony family. Ebony woods, I don't think they're, once you burn them, I don't think they release that sweetness that like a cherry or other fruiting type wood in the rose family might. Uh, so I think I would avoid that. But it does make good spoons. I've got a pair of chopsticks that I made out of some that I eat lunch with. Um, so yeah. Persimmon. Uh, the lumber is super unstable. If you have a tree big enough to cut and you cut it up into boards, no matter what you do, it's going to move on you big time. So you need to cut it wider than you think. Because uh, they'll warp on you. Sometimes cup so bad, there's no point. You can see that that is the melted marshmallow goo inside the persimmon this is when you really want to leave out in the rain and the sun because you want that stuff to really dilute and cure out i don't know if it's a sugar i don't think it's a sugar type substance of course i could be wrong um, and i don't know if it's in the males and not the females or vice versa this one this one was uh, part of a logging operation where they had cut a big white oak down and when it fell it uprooted this one just like a, a storm might but they just cut the top out and pushed it over in, in the gully so there was a 20 30 foot section of log there no top so for me it was great because it's easy to saw that perfect size for splitting into these pieces um, but i wasn't i didn't notice any fruit on the ground so it's probably a boa tree so i don't know if that matters or not okay that's the persimmon now i'm going to show you one, one other thing. There was a little tree that uh, I ended up cutting, not because I wanted to, but because it, it had already been cut and it was in the way. And so I'm going to show you that. And I think I've done a little partial on this before, too. This is a young sweet gum forest grown straight grain no nuts
Look, that didn't split, it just kind of tore it out. Sweet gum is bogus. But I felt bad leaving it there. So, I'll keep a couple in the, in the, in the lot. Okay, this is a piece of hickory. Uh, I think it is red hickory. Olive green kind of bark, green gray. It's definitely not shag nut, shag nut or bitter nut or uh, shell bark. And I don't think it's monocre nut. I think it is red or pig nut. They're pretty similar. I didn't see the leaves. They were all crumpled up. This is one of the tops that the loggers had left. So I just grabbed a few of these, but about the same size as that sweet gum. Now hickory can be really stringy. We'll see how it does. Ooh. Just think. You can also split like that. Very perfect. Very nice. I love the hickory. Nothing like a good piece of hickory. <clears throat> Let's do one more. I mean, these aren't very big, so this isn't that impressive, but still. I just feel there's a crispness to it, a rigidity that really lends itself to splitting. I'll get a bigger piece, a substantially bigger piece out of the same tree. <clears throat> Use the same tool. Oh uh, well, this one split off somewhere. It was cutting. I was cutting it, so I guess it's cheating, but I don't care. Crotch on the other end. Twist in the bottom. But we still make it. My neighbor bought this property over here and he logged it. Loggers just don't care. They made such a mess of everything. Big trees, little trees. Cut them down. Skid steers. Running over ones they I mean they leave them and then run over them with skid steer and grind all the bark off the bottom. I don't I know there's money in it. I'd rather have the trees than a few bucks. But I'm happy to get my hands on some pretty good knot. Good stuff. Get my hands on some of these tops. This is just the right size to manhandle from the field. Come home and lather up and split some of it. So I'm hoping to go get there's, I don't know, 20, 30 other hickories there in reaching range. But I just want to show folks that persimmon is good firewood. <coughs> And again, sorry about not posting for a while. Just been a little busy. Next video is going to be ash. I just cut three quarter ton truck full of an ash tree that has been mostly destroyed by the emerald ash borer. So I guess that's going to be common. If you're a woodcutter in the mid south, it's time to get on the ash trees because they're going to go bye bye and then. 
don't know, two years time, won't be anything left. Except little ones, maybe. But ash wood will not last in the field. Sad, but it's what it is. Okay, that was persimmon. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll do another video soon. See you. Bye.